let's talk about why today is not my day, okay? Today is Saturday. I had such a fun day yesterday. I went over to my friend's place. We watched slash made fun of The Bachelor. I took over her Tinder. It was a good time. And then today I wake up, take Jack out, go downstairs, pee, and I'm just like, that feels weird. It feels weird. Now, if any of you watched my main channel, not last January as in this year, but the year before, you would know that I went to the hospital because after a Brazilian wax, I got an abscess in my ass, not in my ass, on my butt cheek, but it was like, it was pretty in there. It might as well have been in my ass, you know? And this is that same feeling. That was the worst experience of my life, to put it lightly, because I thought it was a hemorrhoid. I thought that I was just suddenly 85 years old with a hemorrhoid. I had assumed that if I had done some like preparation H, it would go away. So I was just at home taking care of this for like two weeks in pain to the point where I was crying anytime I had to sit down. I have a whole story time on this. So I try to make a call into a clinic and this is at the, the very beginning of COVID. So they're like, oh, if you have a fever, unfortunately we can't take you. And they're like, ER? And I'm like, okay, fuck me. So I'm getting ahead of that because before I had an infection, I had a fever of 103 last time. This time my butt just kind of hurts. Like when I am like sitting or looking at it or thinking about it, but otherwise it's all right. So, so I looked up online how long the wait time is and it says it's 30 minutes. In case it is much, much longer than that, I have two appointments scheduled in clinics, Monday and Tuesday, just in case one of them can't do it. I'm truly, pun intended, covering my ass. I sat in the ER for three hours <laughs> only to get seen and told that because I came early to avoid the fever, it's too small to do anything to. So, gave me a prescription, I'm gonna go drop it off now. I am going to lunch with Bronwyn right now and then we're gonna go and get pedicures and uh, tomorrow I have a clinic appointment and then the next day I have a clinic appointment in case I need a secondary one, so. <sighs> but I'm going from some janky blue color that just looks like shit to something else probably a, like a white because you know what that means. I don't know, on the internet people say that white toes means that you're a freak. <laughs> Nothing says freak like a secondary asshole. So I'm choosing to look at this whole experience as a challenge to deal with it in a calmer way than I did last time. Because last time, I told Cooper this a couple of months ago, last time when this was all going down, I was, I, I have a lot of like medical, like health anxiety. So I was, in bed with a 103 degree fever, sobbing because I was sure I was going to die. And then I was so scared because I didn't have any aftercare instructions. And I was back at the clinic every fucking day for like a week, getting my ass fucking changed out. And like, oh God, so brutal. So <laughs> this is a challenge to not, um, be so fucking freaked out. <laughs> also, can we just like do a shout out to the fact that I have friends who have offered <laughs> for me and Cooper to continue our sex life to come and pop it for me. <laughs> Those are the good ones. All right, just finished our petties. <sighs> now I might stop off at Winners because I still have that gift card. Might do a little browsing, but I don't need anything and I know that. Brunch was great. We went to State Maine, got, I got Eggs Benedict and a mimosa. Maybe I will go home because I need to take my other antibiotic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's 
go home. Hi hey guys. So in like half an hour, I'm heading out to the doctor. Okay, so here's the deal. I think my second asshole is doing slightly better with the medication that it's on. So I am going to cancel. I have already canceled the appointment that I was going to today. Um, I did book two appointments. So if it's still there or not getting better tomorrow, then I'll go to that one. However, <laughs> Because I am feeling better, I'm gonna go get some groceries because our kitchen right now, here's a picture of our pantry. It has never been that empty. First of all, since I moved into the house, and second of all, since Cooper moved in, it's definitely never been this empty. But we've been trying to like use up more stuff. It's just simply getting to the point where like we gotta <laughs> we gotta get this stocked up a little bit. So Cooper's at a job. I am gonna go and grab some groceries. We're also gonna do a Costco run sometime later this week hopefully possibly tomorrow okay first stop is going to be petland because i'm going to go in there and see if they have like any cat yogurt tubes or like little treats that i think would actually maybe make eli eat something because he hasn't um we're trying to get him scheduled in to get his worms like get something for his worms so Let's just go see if we can get him something that he'll actually eat. Okay, so here's the haul. I got some new like air dried food. This is what I was looking for, like little lickable cat treat yogurt tube things. And then I got Jack a little treat too. There was, I love pet stores that have this when they work with Fosters. There is a little play area in there and you can go and see some of the cats and like actually interact with them. So I was playing with this little guy and he's so cute. Okay, now I want to go to Starbucks. Dad, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. Can I get stuff for you? Um, could I please get a um, vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Uh, okay, here's all the groceries. Here's what the pantry looks like before. And the fridge before so essentially what i do bring everything onto the table so i'll do that first got it in bags and so now anything that i don't have to prep or wash i just put away it's pretty much just this so this i'm going to put into my overnight oats oat thing i'm going to wash these i'm going to take this out of the plastic i'm going to break this chicken down i'm going to Honestly, probably give this a day or two just to ripen up a little bit. And then this, I am going to separate into three Ziploc bags and then I'll use this for meatballs or sauces or hamburgers. Don't get me wrong, I really, really don't always do this. It's just easier to shove stuff in the fridge. But I don't eat this many tomatoes when they're all in the fridge. And a lot of the times food goes bad quicker. Really get them dry. Huh. They do all fit. And there's no bad ones. So there you go. While we're here, might as well do the grapes that Cooper bought the other day because quite literally no one's even broken into these because they're just in the package unwashed. Was this the appropriate size container? It'll do. Oh, it's going here. Probably gonna be a bunch of overflow here. I make overnight oats like every day. So I do go through a lot of oats and I usually buy it at Costco, but I was getting very low and I was there. So I don't like working with raw meat either, but this is gonna save you money because otherwise you're gonna throw it away. There you go. Good serving portion for meatballs or pastas. I'm just going to spray down, put the scissors in the dishwasher. Move that. Disinfect the counter before we continue on. Honestly, at this point, I don't really want to break down this whole turkey. It's a chicken. It's a chicken. So, I'm quite literally just going to transfer it out of this container onto a plate. Oh, it is so much easier to do while it's warm, though. All right, we'll just finger break it. It's so good. And that right there is a pretty good skinned chicken. So, uh, do I want to make a stock? Uh, not really. Then we tinfoil the chicken. And we do this because if Cooper doesn't know we have it, he won't eat it all tonight. 
if anyone else lives with a man that eats everything, you feel me on this. So afterwards, here's what the fridge looks like. And then here is what the pantry looks like. Very nice. These are my favorite little like bars. They're so good. And then, oh jeez, I also got a watermelon. So this is the treat I got Jackson. Can we sit? Oh, it's so good. Oh, shaking with excitement. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Okay, we're gonna try one of these. Thank you. 